Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are watching this out there on the World Wide Web. This is Jeremy Geenan for Syscon TV. We're here at 10th Cloud Expo, Cloud Expo New York. And when I say we, I mean me and Karen Padilla from Enterprise DB. Thank you for joining us. Thank you very much. Happy to be here. I know you've been speaking already, speaking tomorrow, but actually what I want you is put on your Enterprise DB hat, Karen. Place Enterprise DB in the great scheme of things for the millions of people watching this on Cisco on TV. Great. So at Enterprise TV, we are the enterprise Postgres company, and what we do is basically three principal things. One is we are members of the open source community PostgreSQL, and we provide distributions of Postgres that are tested and certified. We also add value onto that com that commercial distribution of Postgres by adding Oracle database compatibility features, security features, and performance enhancements. And then we're here at the Cloud Expo because we have launched our Postgres Plus Cloud Database, which is a database as a service, fully featured, elastic, high available, auto scaling um, cloud database. And you can choose your database engine. You can use community Postgres or you can use our, our Postgres Plus advanced server that has those performance and Oracle database compatibility features in it. And it's not a fork. You can um, deploy those Postgres instances within our cloud database and you can save that data and take it off cloud. You can move it all around. We provide it on different cloud providers, whether it be Amazon or HP um, Compute Cloud, and we're also working on implementation for Cloud Stack and Rackspace and others. It's all happening at Enterprise DB. I have to ask you, not a cloud question, I guess, but, a, but an enterprise open source question. That formula, has proven to be remarkably resilient in a way that I think perhaps people in the industry thought, yeah, yeah, we'll see. But it really is working. It, it absolutely is. And um, I was saying in my talk tonight how I was on a panel when I was at Sun Microsystems, you know, about five years ago, and they were asking about open source in the cloud. And I, you know, honestly, at the time, I thought, the cloud, it's not about open source, right? Who cares? The cloud is providing all the services, and as the user, we're just going to consume and we're not going to care about whether they're open source or not. So fast forward five years and you look at all, you know, who thought there were going to be so many public cloud providers and private cloud providers and as an application developer, whether you're a user or you're developing infrastructure application, you care greatly where these applications are going to run and you do want to make sure there's an open source core there so that you can be more flexible and portable and run across a variety of platforms because otherwise, you're going to get locked in, and you know what? It's going to be more expensive when you get locked into the cloud than when you were just locked in to a proprietary vendor in your traditional data. Now, do you think, I mean, we could, you're simply infusing, oozing, oozing with enthusiasm. Do you think that the cloud has re-energized Enterprise DB like it's re-energized? Or are we all just on a, on a cloud high because somehow it's injected energy back into the industry? Absolutely. I think you know we we have a lot of energy at Enterprise DB anyway, <laughs> because um, Postgres is such a lively community and very high volume. I mean, there's the community has you know about seventy thousand downloads um, of the software a week, so that's a pretty active community. Um, but then if you look at what we're doing with the cloud, um, we're making it, we're making the database easy so that the developer doesn't have to worry about it anymore, right? And that's what we're seeing in the cloud is you have these rich um, services that are offered up to you in different ways very simply. So the developer used to worry and talk to the sysadmin and used to talk to and worry about the database administrator and now they don't. They don't have to, it's all assembled for them. They write their application they test it, they deploy it, and it runs. And well then what? There's no, they never started with the, the database administrator, the sysadmin, so who do they call? And so we're finding our customers that are using our cloud database love it because they don't have to be a database administrator anymore. All of the tuning is done for them, all of the high availability, the replication, and the backups. And you know, just those four things are hard to do with a database on, on premise. And they're harder to do in the cloud, so having a database service that does it for you just you know, makes it a no-brainer. And especially that the core engine is community Postgres, so I can take my data and run whenever I want. I can go to a different cloud, I can go back to my data center, I can run it on my laptop. 
um, because the core database engine is the same. It does sound good to me. If it sounds good to you too, you need to reach out for the database in the cloud to Enterprise DB. Go to enterprisedb.com, I would say. Yep, absolutely. And thank you so much, Karen Padir, for talking with us, and thank you for following along out there on the World Wide Web.